You better put that middle finger away, girlfriend. I'm gonna chop it off. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be filming Hot New Shit Volume 5. I love filming Hot New Shit videos because I love Hot New Shit favorite things to talk about. I also wanted to let you guys know that when I do hot new shit videos, sometimes I haven't used the stuff at all. Like I just got it, just opened it up, unboxed it. I haven't used it, haven't even swatched it maybe. And then some other things I've used quite a few times. I'll be reviewing it a little bit, how I'm feeling about it, my emotions on the product. But some of it I've never touched before. Some of it I've used. I'll let you guys know how I feel about it if I have used it, but it's not gonna be like a review on everything. It's really just showing, like showcasing new stuff that's coming out. Just wanna let you guys know that because I think some people were thinking like I was reviewing everything and they were like disappointed that I hadn't used it for a long time. So I just wanna let you guys know not everything is gonna be like reviewed. I'm just showcasing it, kind of first impressions if I swatch it, stuff like that, going over colors, formulas, that type of shit. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I think the first thing I'm gonna talk about is actually a non-makeup product. This is a collab that I was really excited about. This is the Key Australia by Crispy Makeup Sunglass Collab Collection. So Crispy did a collab with Key Australia Sunglasses, which you guys know I've put Key glasses in a lot of favorites videos. I wear them all the time on Snap. It's practically the only brand of sunnies that I wear just because I love them so much. So she did a collab with them and she came out with three different styles and one of them has two different colorways. So I'm gonna be showing you guys all of them today. So the first pair, this is called Mila. I feel like this is like the most fun pair, but these are super cute. If you like big sunglasses, you're definitely gonna love these. And this is a bright blue lens, which in my opinion, looks really good with my hair, just saying. No shade. The next pair is Gemini. This is an all metal pair and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not crazy about like metal sunglasses cause they're usually like too heavy or they sit kind of weird on my face. But these ones are really lightweight. So I was very pleasantly surprised by that because typically I'm not crazy about metal ones. And these have a black frame with like a rose pinky ro- Oh my God, this looks so cute right now. With this outfit with the, all this peach I've got going on, this is cute, right? So this is the Gemini color, and these are also available in the rose gold frame, and I can't remember the lens color, but I believe it's a rose gold frame. Very, very cute, very chic. What is this? What is this lens? I'm kind of thinking like, I don't have fucking time for this right now. I have to go. That's it. These ones are kind of like, let's get the, the, the uh, bucket of Coronas. I have time. I have more time than Gemini has. I like Corona, I like Lime. I'll even take a few Keystones if you throw them my way. Cause you know why? I'm down for whatever. Ooh, this last pair. Okay, so the last pair is my favorite. These are jet lag. Look. What are we looking for? I love this pair. Okay, these are the, the actual frames are larger than I thought they were gonna be, but they are so cute. I love the gold side. We got the super mirrored pinky lens, which again is looking Really good with what I'm wearing right now. No shade yet again. Love this frame. I love everything about it. This is my favorite pair. So those are all three pairs of the collab that Crispy did with Key. They're super cute. Congrats, Crispy. I'm super excited for you. I love seeing when people come out with stuff. It's amazing. I love seeing collabs, especially sunglasses because Crispy is like the queen of sunglasses. She can make any pair of sunglasses look amazing. So it's just like the perfect fit. All right, next stuff I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna go into Too Faced because Too Faced has some good shit. All right, so these are are the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Lipsticks. These aren't brand new, these have been out for like a minute, but I just wanted to talk about them really quickly because I love the formula. I love, love, love these melted mattes. The only thing I could change, if I could change anything, would maybe be colors. I would like more colors that I personally like to wear. Very selfish of me to say that, I know, because there are so many of these, but this is why I think like 99% of the population will love this collection because they have all of these in here. The mauves that look so good on the entire planet, except for me. I did wear this one in a video, Cool Girl, which I actually enjoyed a lot more than I thought I would. But they have a lot of like the nudie mauve shades in here that look so good on people, just not so much me. But I love the formula of these. It's super lightweight. It doesn't like crack on your lips. It lasts a long time unless you're eating like an oily food. Touching up throughout the day, you don't even really have to touch up. I've gone out to dinner, I've eaten, I've gone most of the day without touching up. Really, really good liquid lipstick formula. I would say it's in like my top five favorite liquid lipstick formulas. Shades that I've worn, 
cool girl, unicorn. Oh, I wore drop dead red, which is like a really deep red. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of all the swatches too. So that way you can see what all the swatches look like. Drop dead red was really cool. It was a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be, but if you're looking for like a really vampy color, it's amazing. So these are really great. They have a nice color selection. I would like a little bit more colors. So this is gonna be my next one, Lady Balls. You like that? That one and then Mrs. Roper, bright orange. The next thing that Too Faced is blessing us with is new concealers. These are the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealers. I love new concealers almost as much as I love new foundations, almost as much as I love new highlighters. I mean, I really love it all, but I'm really excited about new concealers from Too Faced. I have worn it a total of two times now. I don't have like a full review on it yet. I'm enjoying it right now. I didn't use it as like a concealer on my under eyes because it doesn't have the same coverage, in my opinion, as the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I will tell you that, but I've been using it to do highlighting in this area. It has nice coverage, but like I'm psycho when it comes to my under eyes and covering up my situation. Um, so far, I'm really liking it. I'm using the shade Light in my highlight zone. Here is what light looks like. Fairly neutral, not too yellow, not too pinky, which is good. I tried light medium and it was a little bit, a little bit too tan for me, but it does have a really nice undertone to it. What's nice about these concealers is that they are very, they feel super lightweight. Like when I put it on my skin, it feels like it's like a water-based concealer almost with a really good coverage. So far, I'm really liking it. Don't have a full review, check back later. I'm wearing it now and I'm not mad at it. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Not mad at it. How many shades do we have here? We have 10 shades of concealers. They come out June 15th. So I'm gonna keep using it for sure. By then I'll have like a better grasp on how I feel about the product before it comes out. Okay, the next things that I have are two lipsticks from Melt Cosmetics, two new shades. The first one is Lewd. This is a really pretty purple lipstick with hints of like blue iridescence to it. This is my first time swatching it. So let's see. Ooh, it does look like an eyeshadow. That is for sure. Really cool looking purple lipstick, but I've seen a lot of pictures of it on Instagram. It looks really cool, especially in different lighting. And then the other one is Dugaf. I guess they discontinued Degaf, and I remember when I bought Degaf a few years ago, I wasn't really crazy about it. I didn't like the formula and I liked the color. It didn't give it to me, I think. So this one is a blue. It's a different blue than Degaf and it also has iridescence in it. Ooh, that's pretty. So this, they're both iridescent lipsticks. They're not like the super mattes like their other lipsticks are, but these are definitely in line with Melt Cosmetics. They always have like really fun colors coming out. Okay, next category I'm gonna talk about are highlighters. I have four different brands of highlighters. All right, so the first one I'm gonna talk about is one that I just ordered off of Sephora when it came back in stock because I was having serious FOMO that everybody else had it. I was seeing so many videos on it, so I had to just pick it up myself. And that is the Pat McGrath Labs Highlighter. I didn't get both of them because I saw a lot of the ones of, I think it was called Nude. I wasn't crazy about the pink one. I was like, am I really gonna wear it? I don't know. I kind of wanted to play with it and test it out first before I ordered it. So I ordered the gold one and it comes with the highlight stick. So you have the gold highlight stick on this side. Super pretty. I love the colors in this. It is so gorgeous. So you have that on this side. The other side you have the balm. My mom loved this. She was like playing with just this and she wanted to wear this on her face. Super soft. I, I kind of want to watch some videos on how Pat McGrath actually recommends using this product before I get crazy with it. And then of course you have the powder and this is the Fine Gold 003 pigment. Oh, and it also comes with a brush, which I thought was kind of cool. This is the uh, Buffer brush number three. Now I did try to use this and I think it just kind of hit me weird. I don't know. Anyway, and then we have the powder, which Shazam. Mm-hmm, so that's the highlighter stick with the powder on top of it. And then if you want to put it on top of the balm, I'm not really sure how you use the balm. Actually gotta look into that a little bit, but you can see it's just super pretty, really clean. Now I'm wearing it today. Can you see? Tell me what you guys think about it. I, it's still like, I feel like I'm trying to adjust to it because I'm so used to using like more champagne or like peachy golds. This one's almost like kind of like a greenish gold. Is that the right way? 
to describe it. I love the way it looks, but it's a little bit different than what I'm used to. It doesn't mean I don't like it. I'm just still trying to adjust to it. It's a really great product, but the packaging was a little surprising. I was expecting something a little bit more high quality just for the price point of it. But just the color is something to kind of get used to if you're used to using like more of like a, a, a different type of gold. Like I'm used to using the MAC Oh Darling, but regardless, I still really like the way that it looks on my face. So it's different than what I'm used to, but I still really like it. All right, next highlighters that I have are both from Laura Geller. And Laura Geller sells one of my favorite highlighters, which is the Gilded Honey. Looks exactly like this. So these are two new shades. And I do have the other color, Ballerina. It's too dark on me. It like doesn't do any highlighting really. I think it's more of like a rose gold highlighter. So we have Charming Pink, which is a charming pink. This is like a, oh, I'm so innocent highlighter, super pretty. And I love the Laura Geller highlighters because you can put them on top of creams and they don't show like too much like actual color. Sometimes if I use like baked highlighters and I put them on top of a cream, I'll have like a pink stripe right here. It's happened to me so many times and it is so disturbing. It's so frustrating when you finish your whole face and then you just put your highlight on and you've got like dark pink stripes on your face. So Charming Pink is really pretty. I feel like this is like a pink highlighter that I could get used to. And then the other one is Peach Glow. And I love me a nice pretty peach highlighter. It matches my shirt. I haven't used either one of these yet. This is my first time even swatching it. Ooh. So I'll start using these ones and I'll let you guys know what I think about it, but these are brand new. So these are actually out now, they're available. I just checked the Laura Geller website and um, the peach one's out of stock right now, but that means that they're available. So they are available now. Next two that I wanted to talk about, these are also not super brand new. I posted them on Instagram a while ago, but I haven't even gotten around to actually wearing them yet because they were in a pile that was not near me when I was doing my makeup. There's just a lot going on the past couple of weeks, so I haven't even got a chance to try them yet, but I've been hearing a lot of great things, and these are the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. I and mean, I have two shades. I have Precious Petals, right here, and Crown of My Canopy, right here. And they look so pretty. I love that they're like stamped. It makes you feel like it's like a high-end product, which I really love. And I love Wet n Wild's products. I've actually been using their brushes, like their face brushes. So let's swatch these. The first one is Precious Petals. Looks pretty nice. It looks pretty comparable in glowiness to the Laura Geller ones that I have swatched over here. The only thing I was worried about last time that I swatched the Wet n Wild ones is that they were like, the colors were a little bit too dark, I felt like, but I haven't tried it on my face. Sometimes it comes off a little bit different once you put it on your face. And then this one is Crown of My Canopy. I think this one would be pretty as like an all over blush on me, but you see how like pink it looks? If I put it up here, I would have like a dark pink stripe on my face. That's like what I was talking about earlier. But I think if you have a deeper skin tone, this would be so pretty as a highlight. I'm gonna be trying this one out as a highlighter. I'm gonna try it tomorrow. How about that? I'm gonna try it tomorrow, let you guys know. But Wet n Wild, really great value. They have some really good products. So I know these are gonna be a huge hit this summer. Next highlighting palette I have to talk about. This is a very talked about palette right now. This is the Violet Voss Pro highlighting palette. This one has three shades of highlighter in here. Unicorn Luster, Star Glow, and Moon Gleam. I have not tried this one out yet. I've just swatched it on my hand. They look really nice, but it did feel like a little bit chalky to me. Ooh, okay. Okay, Violet Voss. John Ye, which one's your favorite? I actually like the middle one a lot, Star Glow. It looked a lot darker in the palette. Do you like how I asked you a question and then I didn't let you talk? Story of my life. <laughs> I really like the, uh, the middle shade. It looks a lot darker in the palette than it looks on my skin, but it is really pretty. Not too crazy about this last one, the Unicorn Luster, but it, it takes a second for me to like grow onto like pink highlights. Haven't used them yet. This is like really a first impression heavy swatching on my hand, but they look pretty good as of right now. All right, next item I have is from Tarte and this is a new self tanning spray. I wasn't even ready for this. Like they didn't tell me, I didn't get like a notification this was coming out. It hit me by surprise. And I love their tanning wipes. If I ever tan my face, that's what I use on my face. It has such a nice, even application of tanner and it lasts it lasts a nice long time. Okay, so this is a, it's called Little Mist Sunshine. 
How cute is that? So this is a spray and the instructions for it, you're supposed to hold it six inches away from the skin and carefully spray it in straight lines onto one body, body part at a time. Before the product dries, use the mitt to blend in long, even strokes. Sounds interesting to me. I see that it's clear. I'm intrigued. I wanna try it out. So next time that I tan, I'm gonna try this one out. I know I'm like addicted to the loving tan one. It's very hard for me to stray away but because I love their wipes so much, I have a feeling this might be a similar formula. So I'm gonna give this one a shot, but it's just nice to see. This dick. I like seeing new self-tanning products, especially, you know, in a different, when it's in different packaging, it gets me. I'm totally like so weak when it comes to that. All right, next thing I wanted to talk about are some new products that came out from Benefit. It's the new brow collection. So I have the little, I have a little thingy here. I think some of them are brand new products and then some of them are revamped. So they have the high brow, which they had before, the gimme brow, which is like the gel, browsings, which was like the shaper one. And then some of the new stuff that they have, I have here. The first one being the Cabrow. And Benefit is always so cute with our packaging, like it kills me. Whoever's like coming up with the names of this stuff is just a genius. So the first one is Cabrow, and this is the Cream Gel Brow Color with Brush. So here's the little box that it comes in, and I have shade number four. Shade number four is medium. This is rich medium to dark brown or auburn with neutral to warm undertones. So that's me, I do medium, I do a little bit more ashy. So I could do number three or number four. So this is like a brow gel and you open this up and it has the gel in right here. And this is the color, which I feel like this is the perfect color for me. And then the top, this little brush. Is that cute? And this is actually like, I really like this size of the brush. It's really thin. I feel like if you have thicker brows, maybe you might find this to be too small. But for me, this is like absolutely perfect because I can't use like those thick ass brushes, you know? So I haven't tried this yet, but I just thought the packaging was so cute and I love brow gels, especially for me. I have super thin, naturally thin brows. So I like to do something a little bit more dramatic and you know, I have that hole right here that I put in my eyebrow. So using a gel really helps me out. I think this is a new product. This is the Bravo Conditioning Primer. So this is a primer that's supposed to help you grow fuller and healthier looking brows. Nutrient rich primer for fuller looking brows. I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. So you can wear this overnight to condition while you sleep or you can prime wear under your brow makeup to enhance color and extend wear. So it has like a little applicator on the top. Very cool. Here's the packaging on this. So you just put this on your brow. Hopefully it makes your brows grow. I'm gonna try this out. All right, uh, Gimme Brow. This one is not a new product. This is like a brow gel. What I'm really excited about is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This super easy brow filling and shaping pencil. So I also got shade number four in this one. Haven't tried this one out yet either. This is my first time opening it. It's so cute. It's like a little, oh, this. <laughs> you know, like a little baton. So it's got the spoolie on one side, and then on the other side you have the actual pencil. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it has like a cool diamond shape. I don't know my shapes very well. This is like more of a diamond shape, and it has nice angles on it, so you can get in there and do your little brow hairs. I like that it has a really narrow tip on it, which is good. The only thing with pencils like this is, I feel like once you use the tip of it, like the really narrow tip, then you're gonna be stuck at the really wide base part unless you sharpen it like on a piece of paper. And I just feel like that wastes a lot of product. I wish there was a different way to sharpen it. So that way you weren't using so many like strokes of product just to get it down to that much. But I haven't tried this one out yet. I'm gonna try this stuff out tomorrow and see how I feel about it. All right, so that wraps up all of today's hot new shit. Oh, I actually, I gotta tell you guys, there's two new brushes that came out from Smith Cosmetics. They're eyeliner brushes. I have them, I can't find them. I told you I'm like a hot mess right now. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere around these parts. Uh, did you check your butt? I don't know if Zoe took them. I don't know where they are, but I'm gonna try and find them because they look like hot fire. I love Smith Cosmetics brushes, so I'm gonna keep my eyes wide open to try and find those brushes. But other than that, that wraps up today's hot new shit video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.